It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. It's Vlogmas, Vlogmas. And it's time to celebrate. No. Yay! Good morning, everyone. Good morning, everyone. Oh, Parker with the good morning, everyone. What are you setting up? I'm setting up an audition station for mom. A an audition <laughs> station? Yes. For Vu? For me. Parker has a self-tape audition this morning, so it's the first thing we're, we're just going to get it done out of the way. He's, he's excited about it. Obviously, he's setting up his own, <laughs> his own audition station. We're going to put up a backdrop? Yeah. Yeah, lighting's real good right now. Look at your face. Oh yeah, oh yes, yeah. see? Drama. I told you. <laughs> Perfect. Is this a movie or a show you're auditioning for? It's, I think, a TV show. A TV show? I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. All that matters is, is that you know your character, <laughs> your part. Do you know your part? Yes. I do a bunch of auditions. I don't normally get the part. I've never gotten a part, actually. I started auditioning when I was about six, and I've done like a bunch. I, I don't know how many auditions I've done. I think I've done like 30 or 20 or something like that, but yeah. The kids told us that they wanted to audition for stuff, so they have an agent, and Parker, Jacob, and Bailey all self-tape auditions now. Uh, Bailey and Jacob used to go in person and do auditions, but lately it's all self-tape. It's a lot of fun. We get to, I, I kind of like it because I get to read the sides and I get to act a little bit, which I used to do a lot in college and, and I don't do it anymore, aside from my little cameo in uh, Haters Back Off on Netflix. Oh yeah, you did do that. Oh yeah, that was some major acting. Yeah. Yeah. Just you sitting there. Yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. all you did. You almost have it. You, you keep practicing. So anyway, that's what that's what we're starting with today. We're gonna we're gonna get Parker's uh, audition all done, and then and then the rest of the day awaits. I'm glad that you're here with us. Hi, Daddy. Are you hanging out with Mommy? Yes, you love Mommy. Mm -hmm. You love Mommy time so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, he's going for the kisses. He's going for the kisses. Mm -hmm. And I just want to jump in and say that we probably won't ever hear any follow-up from this audition. I feel like every time we mention that the kids are auditioning for something, like all of you guys are so excited for the kids that you're like, what happened with the audition? What they say? And the kids do these auditions and they never hear back anything. Like that is Hollywood life. That's what it's like, life of an actor. Like the kids just work really hard on memorizing them and then doing them and then like put them out into the world of whatever our agent is doing. And that's, that's the end of that. <laughs> I don't know. I think if anything, it's been a really good experience for them to practice memorizing. They've gotten really good at that. And who knows, maybe someday they'll get a role, but even if they end up getting a stage role in high school or and like locally, and they just get to experience being on stage in the role that they dream of because they practice so much doing these auditions, like maybe this will help them with that. And I think that's really cool. All three of the older kids definitely want to be on stage. They want to be in front of the camera. Like they really, they really love doing these things. So I hope that, you know, I'm their, their mom. So I hope all their dreams come true. And even if it's not like what they're dreaming of directly, like I hope that whatever they do in their lives, it helps them be more equipped for the next stage in their life or what they do ultimately end up doing, whatever that is. Even if it means a career in sales or a career in anything where you have to present or um, memorize, you know, a bunch of things that you're not necessarily super familiar with. I hope that this is helping them. And I do think that the, there's a lot that this could help with someday. So I think that's very cool. And I like to look at things like that and not just go like, there's only one goal and that's to get this part or to do this. Like I like to look at big picture goals also just to support the process just as much as this like end point um, because I think the processes are like the majority of what we do in our lives <laughs> and we don't always end up getting to whatever end point that the world says is the goal and that's okay so anyway they're working on the process right now if all right anything, guys if anything he's gonna learn how to set up backdrops what do you think of acting i love doing it i'm getting home help dad We're shopping for pet gifts now. <laughs> for me. For I'm you, you're not a pet. Rooms, but I'm going for you, you're not yeah. a pet. I'm Santa Claus. Mm -hmm. 
Is it a penguin? Yeah. Whoa. It costs nine dollars. Do you have nine dollars? I don't have any dollars. <laughs> That's pretty funny, yeah. for real. It says large, but I think we learned last time that this can be large for a small dog. Yeah, large. It's so. large for a chinchilla. So I found this. It's a play wall for our rabbit, and then an ice cream cone and a cupcake. I found the ultimate present for the chicken. Okay, we just dropped Rue off for her little groom. She's mostly gonna get her like face and fanny and it's also like we're still trying to get her into the groomer as often as we can just to get really used to all of it because she is a golden doodle and they need a lot of grooming and a lot of care and and it's also really nice when she gets out of it because she's so soft and fluffy. We left Rue at the groomers, we came home, we took naps. Not all of us took naps, just the little kids took naps. I never get naps. And right on time, as soon as all the kids woke up, they called and said, Rue's finished, so we're gonna go pick up Rue now. Did you just get your grooming? Look at your scarf, look at your scarf. It's Christmas. Christmas scarf, I like it. I like it a lot. You wanna go do Advent? It's Advent time, but we're gonna let Rue go first. Because she went to the groomer. Exactly. Here she is. What do you think of that little puppy? Oh, you're so cute. Oh. Hi. Little fluff. Oh, what a pretty girl. Okay, let's find out what you get. 16 and 17, right guys? Yeah. I think. Yes. 16 says, have breakfast for dinner just like them. And... I think it's a dog bowl. And then 17, we'll just open them both right now. 17 is definitely a dog bowl. And it says, give them a kiss under the mistletoe. Here's treat number one, Rue. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Luke, do you want to give her her other treat? She's very soft right now. Here you go. Here you go. You want to give it to her? Yeah, there you go. Give it to her. Aww. Kisses. You want root kisses? Oh, on your foot? You're doing foot kisses? You want root foot, root foot kisses? Aww. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that? Are you giving her your foot? <laughs> foot? Are you getting those rude kisses on your toes? Oh! <laughs> Is that what Rue said? Pretty princess. Rue. Hi. Here you go, love. It's a two day advent. I know, it's so exciting. Can you open this one? That's the one. Oh, wow. It's a snow plow. You want to put that on your car? It's a bat. Can you open it? <gasps> oh, a gingerbread man. Aww. Aww. Thank you. Aww. Aww. Oh, no. Uh -huh. Oh, that's so cute. <laughs> Whoa. Is it time? Is it time to roll out the carpet? There it is. Oh, you're gonna snow plow the uh, gingerbread man? Or is he the driver? He's the driver. He's the driver. Whoa! Alrighty, how about a little science? Cornstarch. Ooh, Ooh, a ruler. You're figuring out your stuff? Mm -hmm. That actually is a ruler. 
Ooh, electrostatics. That's gonna yeah, be fun. Like so that's what you use the ruler for? Yeah. Nice. And this one. It's make it sticky. Yeah, you're gonna make oobleck. What's that? That's this, this non-Newtonian fluid that you're going to make. It is a snowman? No, snow start. Yeah. See, this one is a okay. spaceship. It's like that. Nice, Jake, those are good. Iron the snowman. Iron the snowman. And this is the ship that they do. Oh, it's time for slime. Green slime. I bet this is gonna be called avocado. <laughs> I bet it's mint something. It's oh. mint chocolate gelato. 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 Hey, you've made gelato before. I have, but it was banana flavored. No, no. That's oh wait. <gasps> Lollipop. Oh. I can smell it. Yeah, you want to smell it? It smells like soap. Again, mm -hmm. I love the smell of soap. May I smell it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, I thought it would smell better. Mm -hmm. it does. Oh, so Parker, good. please oh, tell no. me that's <laughs> oh, gonna no. come off. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. What? Do you want to use some frosting? I <laughs> feel. <laughs> oh no. Oh. I'm so sad. This is only a one-time. Isn't it? <laughs> Pretty much. All right, Bailey's turn. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, wow. Ooh. 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 Oh my gosh. All right, you got it all apart? Yep. I'm just trying to figure out how to put it back together. So far, I've completed one and put it back together. Out of the whole advent? Yeah. Those are hard ones. Those are hard. No, well, uh, out of the plastic things. Do you guys want to see the most asleep human? <laughs> my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I've like never what? seen a more asleep human. You are sleepy. Look at his leg. Look, look at how he curves around me. What? I'm that is a sleepy <laughs> baby. He was awake at the beginning of advent. We should have done his teddy bear then because right now, <laughs> do you want to skip it and do it tomorrow or you want to do it tonight while he's asleep? Tonight. I don't know. Right tomorrow, tomorrow. Let's I do it tomorrow. Know. Let's do it, yeah, let's do it while he's awake. Do you want me to transfer him or try to transfer him? He's not going to transfer. His, his hand is like in my armpit. Oh yeah, dad used to put me to sleep. I was at grandma's house and I would always put my hand in her armpit and that would put me to sleep. I would just go, grandma. <laughs> Did you know this? Uh, this is the first time I've heard this story. Here's some advent. Don't wake the baby. Can, can somebody help me? I can help you. Okay, what am I doing? How many doors? You're doing two Six. doors, 16 and 17. Does anybody want to guess the phrase? Me? Tea almost never hits the sea. I love a cup of tea. This is my dish study. Life is like a cup of tea. You never know what flavor you're going to get. Okay, don't oh, wait. Oh, where are you wondering where you are? You wonder why your hands in an armpit? Hey, hey, it's okay. So when in doubt, drink tea. And it's China oh, jasmine, which I'm very excited. No. You're very close to him. But I really love jasmine green tea, so I'm excited to try this one. Okay. Yay. Parker, you wanna guess this one because yes. it's yellow? Okay. My love of tea is never a doubt. Let every day be an opportunity to grab life by the teacup. This is New York breakfast. Have you ever heard of that? Mm -hmm. Black tea, cinnamon, mm. natural and artificial oh. flavoring, and vanilla. Okay, this is the jasmine green tea, which is called China jasmine. I sm smell it from here. What do you guys think? Mmm, mm, that one's pretty good. It kind of tastes like, um, or smells like cinnamon, like a little bit. I know what it, ja like, I don't know. It smells like the green tea that I like in the morning. Yeah. Luke's over here having a little feast of O's. Do you want to smell the tea? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. it's yeah, good. it's good? Luke's stamp of approval. You get, right. Does it get a wink? 
No. No, it doesn't get a wink. No wink for this tea. No wink for this tea. Bailey wants to smell it too. Here you go, Bailey. It smells like our old house's backyard. Yeah. There were jasmine flowers in our backyard. So. Right. Ooh, you guys are gonna like this one. This is the New York this one? New York. Oh, I cannot describe the scent I'm smelling, but it smells very good. Mmm. Chocolate. It smells like chocolate? Oh, yes, chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Mmm. It smells like every breakfast I've ever had in New York. Oh wow. Ooh. Do you want to smell the New York breakfast? Yeah, you gonna smell it? Is it good? Does that one get a wink? No! No, no <laughs> wink for that one either. Chocolate. So we're opening two doors today. Every time I've opened two doors on this advent calendar, one has been empty. So, <laughs> so. There's a high likelihood that today one will be empty and or a trinket, but probably not magic. There has no, to be this a really is the true magic. I'm oh, it's a you. true magic day. Okay, let's see. 16. Oh, magic fits under the category of magic. It is a sponge ball. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to do teach you guys a magic trick with this today. Ooh, Ooh a little, little thing that you could do if you ever happen to have a, an extra sponge ball lying around. All right, and then 17 is, you gotta be, <laughs> it's empty, it's empty. <laughs> it's empty. Yeah, there's nothing in there. Oh. <laughs> On day 2024 or whatever, it's it, gonna be all of our missing trinkets. Maybe, yeah. maybe they all slid down to the bottom. Maybe the bottom row is gonna be very rich with trinkets. Oh, yeah. So usually I go last with Advent, but today Teddy was asleep and now he's awake, so we're gonna go ahead and open Teddy's. Oh, oh it's, it's a new bear. Oh, it's a new bear. <gasps> Look at that oh, sparkling bear. Oh, it's beautiful. What? It's the cutest. And then there's 17. Oh, I can't wait to see this outfit. I'm so ready to put on this outfit. Oh, oh wow. Aww. Oh, wow, wow, wow. I put it on? Yeah, better than we could have expected, huh, Teddy? That is a cute little Santa costume. Oh. Do you want to see the bear? Yeah. Does it get a wink? Oh, <laughs> yeah, the bear gets a wink. The bear always gets a wink. Oh, and a drink. A wink and a drink. <laughs> and some O's. Yeah. You want me to put the shirt on? I used to be a street magician, which means that I'd go to places like farmer's markets or really busy streets and perform for people that were just passing by for tips. While I was there, I developed a bunch of different magic tricks. I developed this one because people kept coming up to me and saying, hey, can you do a trick for this little kid? And the kid was like, just barely on the age of like being able to understand magic. And I realized that they didn't want to get fooled, the, the adults bringing the kid over, they wanted to watch the reaction of the kid. And this works perfect for that because, well, you'll see, you'll see. I'm gonna try it on, on one of my kids and you'll see what their reaction is. I want you to put your hands out like this. Both hands, both hands like this. Okay. I'm gonna try and make this ball go through your hands into my hand down here. You ready for that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Watch carefully. One, two, three. <laughs> Hilarious. <laughs> A clown. Can you put your hands up? Yeah. Okay, put your hands up just like this. Ready? Yeah. Ready? One, two, three. <sighs> Where'd it go? Wait, wait. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? Where is it? Where is it? Can we find it? Can you find it? Uh, Where is it? Where did it go? Where is it? Can you, help find it? Can you help me find it? I don't know. Do you think it's on the tree? Daddy. Do you think it's on the tree? I don't know about that. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes you gotta face the facts. Ah, where is it? Is it on Daddy's nose? No. No, is it? Is that silly?
So you can see it's not about the trick and fooling everybody. It's about the reaction from the kid that you're doing the trick for. Was that fun, Luke? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Uh, you want to see how it works? Yeah. Okay. So all you have to do is cut a slit halfway through the sponge ball, and that basically turns it into a clown nose. Like, they sell these as clown noses. So if you don't have a sponge ball, you can get a clown nose. All I do is squeeze it, and it opens up, and I pop it on my nose right before I say three. So I go one, two, three. That's it. It's pretty simple. One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! Nailed it. Oh, uh, what? <laughs> you want to try it on? Yeah. Yeah, okay, here it goes. Oh, you're a clown. I am making cookies for Christmas. So basically what I do is I have a plan and I make a batch of cookies and I roll them into their ball shapes and then I freeze them in the freezer so that like I can make a bunch of cookies and then on like the day before Christmas I can make them all and plastic wrap them and like put them in the fridge if they need to be in the fridge. I sealed it a little differently this time. And the reason for that is I can't roll them into balls yet because they need to be in the refrigerator for like three hours before I can roll them or something. This is not my typical storing method. All right, the kids are in bed and I got a delivery today that I've been waiting until they go to bed to open. And it is this. I am so excited about this. This is sort of like a little early Christmas present to myself. This is the new MacBook Pro. I have had my current laptop or MacBook since we started this channel. And I ordered this and a month later now, here it is. And um, I get to open it tonight. And my hope with this is it'll make me a little bit more mobile. So I could be working in the living room during lunchtime or something and, and still be with the kids and, and be, you know, present and there, um, but get a little work done during the day. So I don't have to wait till everybody's asleep to like get my editing done because I, I edit all of our videos. We used to have a, a babysitter. She was fantastic with the kids. She actually moved in with us for a little bit when uh, COVID hit so that she could be quarantined with us, but she's moved away. And then when Teddy was born, Colleen and Eric came and uh, helped out with the kids and my mom came for a day and so just, that was really great to have that help. And we haven't had any help since then. It's just been Jessica and me, six kids, new dog, and just making it work. And it's been fun, it's been good, but I'm, I'm getting kind of tired. <laughs> editing at night after everyone's asleep. So this hopefully will help out with that. And then if we ever travel again, obviously this is gonna help us out a lot too. Anyway, that's a lot of backstory. I am so excited about this. This is so cool. Shall we? All, all of that stuff. Here it is. I think it's heavier than my last one, but it feels more like, yeah, like, like it's gonna do some stuff. <laughs> it's gonna make some videos. This is fancy business. <gasps> it made noise. I was not expecting it to make noise. It's, it's still covered with stuff, <laughs> but it made noise. How do I get, okay. 
It's been so long since I bought a new computer, so I don't know. Now I'm, I'm waiting for the thing. Hello, Ova, hello, bonjour. Can't read that one. Don't know what that one says or that one. Don't read those languages. They use different letters, different characters than we do. Ciao, I know that one. Oh, I'm supposed to push it by. <laughs> I'm supposed to push the little, the next thing. A language, we'll go with English, American English, or is to it To use English as the main language, press the return key. Um, we'll just press that return key then. All right, there it is, set up. It does not have the little like touch bar thing up at the top anymore, but it has the touch unlock with the with the thumb or the finger up here. So that's pretty cool. That was a feature that Jessica was saying she really liked about her MacBook. I think you can also use it for money and for like downloading apps and like various other things that you would need to like sign a password for. Your, your fingerprint does it for you now. Part of the reason I haven't gotten a new laptop is I didn't like the fact that like it didn't have ports like different ports it had ports but you had to have dongles to adapt the port to various different appliances this has several different ports including this one which is the most important to me is an sd card reader because what i'm recording on right now is an sd card and at the end of the day i take that out and i pop it into here so that i can get the footage so i can edit it and that's the main thing I'm gonna be using this computer for is editing. The other thing that I was really hoping this new model would have, and it does, is the return of a magnetic style charger. This cable is like awesome. So you know how most like computer cables, they're like kind of a rubbery plastic around the outside? This is woven, like a good guitar cable or something. I don't know if you can see that, but it's like a woven material feels like a rope. Oh, so satisfying. If you have kids, like I do, you know that inevitably a kid is gonna walk by and do that and to be able to have it pop out without like destroying or pulling down your, your computer, that's awesome. I'm so happy they brought that back. I'm so excited about this. This is, this is fantastic. You're not gonna be able to tell the difference on your end, but just know but this is bringing me much editing joy. Hi, let's talk about what we learned today. We learned that when the lighting's good, you should strike a pose. We learned that Duncan doesn't have any dollars. We learned that you don't have to cuddle the worms. And finally, we learned that the bear always gets a wink. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Ha <laughs> ha